Hello, I thought I'd do a, something slightly different, talk about a System76 laptop that I just picked up for myself. Um, yeah, so it's one of those great things where if you love Linux, if you like working with it as an operating system, if you install it instead of Windows or, yeah, no dual booting type of thing, um, it's something to consider uh, just getting a one that's ready for it right out the gate. And that was one of the great things about this. You open it up, um, you type in a few things with uh, getting the new username and everything, and it's already all kind of set for you. Uh, it's Linux right away, um, which is great. So that, that kind of worked well out of the box for me, except one little hiccup. Um, it's probably more on Ubuntu's end than uh, System76, but you know I typed in my Wi-Fi password right away, and then I couldn't continue in the setup for some reason. I had to go back and then it um, bypassed the Wi-Fi. Anyways, random, random thought. Um, but just kind of, I should, should be showing off the, the case itself. So it, I got the lemur. This one is light and thin. Um, it's replacing a MacBook that kind of had some issues um, that I had installed Linux on, but it had some issues with the hard drives and stuff. Um, so <clears throat> something that you can't necessarily tell from the camera maybe though, is as it's rotating around online and as you see it here, um, you kind of get the impression that it has kind of a metallic texture on the back, kind of maybe a metallic um, thing, but it's not actually metallic. It's, um, it's plastic, which isn't bad. It actually helps keep it lighter. Um, it's just maybe just a different expectation. Um, also just about the build and it's System76 gets these laptops and brands them from a different company um, and there's, yeah, it's Clevo is the um, maybe manufacturer and then there's people that rebrand them like uh, Sager um, type of thing. So uh, nice ports, uh, one of the reasons I picked it up, um, HDMI and VGA which is nice for the uh, legacy options. Um, I also wanted something with decent battery life, somewhat s portable. Um, I added a little bit of, so there's a huge blue LED right here that is kind of um, obnoxious, especially you know when you consider blue light is bad for sleeping purposes. Um, you don't want one shining in your eyes all the time. So I just put a little electrical tape over that. That seems to be no problem. Um, so getting up and started was awesome. It was great to kind of just have everything working. Um, I kind of have the default background still. I've compiled a few things. There's mine test. Um, which I, I suppose I should try and run something like this. Oh, I forgot to get a simple screen recorder on here. So for example, you can see mine test is running if I go and play, play here. So. Kind of nice. Um, and sorry, I'm kind of looking at the screen. This is Inception right here to play. But anyway, so it's kind of fun. It's easy to work with. It's pretty spiffy. Um, so uh, some of the downsides or some of the weird things besides that LED um, thing that I mentioned. Um, so I'm with the Mac. I was used to a huge trackpad. This isn't so bad. Um, the main thing that you notice um, that's different is there's no um, push and depress to click, which is fine. Um, you have to use the the buttons for the not for the mouse buttons. Um, but the thing that kind of bugs me the most is it's hard to do kind of the super scroll with the two fingers where you kind of go up or down. I don't know if I can show that um, easily, but um, let's see. Maybe there's a you can go to Ars Technica or something and show how it's a little bit difficult to kind of scroll quickly. So um, here is the screen. Oh, and while we're talking about the screen, so you can kind of get it, but it doesn't kind of like, um, so on the Mac with Linux, you could really get it. So um, it ramps up and then it kind of slowly kind of goes to the top of the screen type of thing. So anyway, it's just a random thing. It You don't have a ton of vertical space here to kind of get a good um, launching scroll swipe, if that makes sense. Um, and so you kind of get these um, somewhat decent, but um, not as great things. Anyway, um, oh, another thing, the screen is really nice. So 
Um, it looks like a lot of glare there on the um, on the screen, but that's kind of coming from outside. And when I'm looking at it, I don't see that much glare. Um, even with it kind of being right there for me now in the window, it's not so bad. So it's a nice matte screen, 1080p, which is great. Um, yeah, I was considering getting a different ThinkPad because um, it has great battery life. Um, the wife has one for work, but um, this just sounded a little bit nicer um, screen-wise, and it is. I could have upgraded on the other one, on the on a ThinkPad to a nicer screen, but um, I'm glad I just went with this one, which was already out the gate. Um, uh, nice, a nice matte screen, which is part of the reason the battery life may also be a little bit decreased. Um, so I'm not sure if you can see this over here. Um, so I've installed PowerTop and that seems to help with the battery life. I could go in and, and double check that all of the things are um, are kind of where they should be. And yeah, so all the tunables besides this wake on land. Okay, so that's definitely something um, maybe that could have come already pre-installed, PowerTop, um, just for these laptops, because that helps with um, power saving for um, Intel-based processors. I'm pretty sure it's the requirement. I don't know, maybe it's also general. Someone will comment if that's important to them. Okay. So yeah, so with all those features enabled, it's saying that I should get, you know, six hours and 41 minutes of battery life. So it's not a huge, you know, eight hours plus um, type of deal, which it's nice to kind of not think about range anxiety, you know, for laptops nowadays. But um, a lot of these laptops where you can get something to, things done, it's not going to be as good. Um, so yeah, so when I compile things or when I'm, executing some Python scripts or that sort of thing. Um, that number drops to maybe three or four hours. Um, yeah, it's all, I haven't tested it a full day to run it out, but um, it, it does decent. So it's it's nice to have a decent battery life. It's not stellar, but it's not terrible. Um, okay, so what else should I say about this? Um, oh, so the one last weird thing about it, so I was inspecting the logo, and I noticed there was a little, so I was like, okay, I wonder how they do these, this logo, and um, so actually I believe, maybe I can start, my, my wife was looking into this, these are actually just stickers, so this is not something that um, I w would have appreciated um, having maybe an engraving or uh, that sort of thing because, um, yeah, just stickers over time are going to come off and, and not look as good. Um, I understand that they're rebranding it from a, a different um, company, company and all, but uh, it would have been nice to at least have that kind of customized, customizing thing. So it comes with a lot of swag, um, a lot of fun stickers, but... Um, when it comes to the logo on the back, I want it to be proud and say, you know, here's a System76 laptop, I'm doing something a little different. But if it's just a sticker on the back, that's that's just not as cool. So obviously they also had, you know, the Intel and the HDMI stickers on here, which I took off because I'm not a, you know, clearly you can tell I'm not a big fan of stickers unless it's to, you know, cover up some lights that um, are a little too bright. Okay, so anyways, um, just as one final note, the keyboard is nice. Um, I haven't had too many issues using it. Um, there's no backlight, um, so that can be an issue if, for instance, like when in low light conditions, it's sometimes nice to increase or decrease the screen brightness. Um, and so um, you can do that when it's highlight, so when I can actually see the keys, and that's great. But that's the only thing, like it would have been, like when I'm trying to adjust the, the screen brightness in the dark, that's kind of the tough thing. So. Actually, if I turn this all the way down, I'm sure my, yeah, my, my battery level might say that it'll go over eight hours, but um, that's, you know, with it doing nothing right now. So um, right now it's around seven, seven and a half. So and obviously when you're kind of in the day, you're going to probably want it at a decent amount of brightness. I don't have it at, ever at full brightness. So 
Um, one of the things with getting kind of one of these lesser known laptops is you don't necessarily, if you want to get like a little keyboard cover, you're not going to get one that's completely custom and actually fits the keys. So I wanted to try out this. This is dust proof, water resistant grease. Um, repeat washing is not deformed. So these are, um, this is just a keyboard cover that doesn't have. Let's see if I can actually open it. Hopefully without wrecking the, uh, without deforming the, uh, the thing. Okay, so, um, it came a little bit, uh, the cardboard came a little bit weird. Okay. This just feels, feels wrong on so many levels. Maybe I should repeat washing right now. There's a few, um, a few things on there. Oh, and look at that. It fits great. Okay. So I'll, I'll investigate this. I'm a pretty heavy typer, and so I, I kind of damage my keyboards pretty quickly. So I thought at least having this, it's another layer. It kind of helps distribute the force a little bit. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look half bad. So, um, But I'll, I'll investigate and play around with that um, more. But uh, overall, yeah, it's nice. It's um, a nice little processor. I didn't upgrade the processor, so it's a low-end um, i3 Intel, which is fine for me. I don't need too many cores or um, I don't want the power going out too fast. I did add a little extra RAM because I sometimes do computations or, you know, like I was showing that Minecraft, uh, open source Minecraft clone, mine test. Um, sometimes it's nice to have a little extra memory for programs like that. Um, so yeah, I have uh, 16 gigabytes of memory in that, but uh, that was the only upgrade I did to it. And so um, I'll maybe give some impressions or show some using simple screen recorder. You can just record the screen um, as you're kind of going through things. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of just overall um, talks about the about the case and everything. So um, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll keep you updated. But uh, for now, it's a nice spiffy little machine. Um, besides the stickers, bad stickers. Don't use stickers for your logo. So, um, so yeah, but maybe I'll, I'll put on one of their other stickers to compensate for the fact that now it's system seven minus rather than system 76. So anyways, yeah, you guys have a good day and I'll uh, talk to you later.